Hey everyone, I'm Colton Rainwater. I work for Coleman Electric Cooperative as a staking technician. Today I'm going to be reading you a book, Oscar and the Bird, a book about electricity by Jeff Warren. One day, Oscar saw a tractor standing in the field. He climbed up to look in the cab when suddenly the windshield wiper started to move. Swish, swish. How did that happen, Oscar wondered. Bird flew down from her branch. Electricity is making the wiper move, she said. You must have pressed the switch by mistake. What's electricity, Oscar asked. It's a kind of energy that people use to help things move, make light up, or heat up, Bird said. Where does it come from, Oscar wanted to know. Bird hopped down to show him the engine. It flows through the wires from this battery, she said. The battery has chemicals inside that make electricity. It's a very big battery, Oscar said. It's a big battery for a big tractor, Bird said. Batteries come in all shapes and sizes. Even a tiny one can make electricity. And she told Oscar about some other machines that are powered by batteries. Together, these two small batteries can make a strong beam from a flashlight. This tiny round battery can keep a watch ticking for more than two years. This rechargeable battery has a powerful chemicals inside it that can make electricity strong enough to move a toy. This long, slim battery is powerful too, and light, just for machines you carry around and use a lot. Why doesn't the windshield wiper move all the time, Oscar asked. When the switch is off, there's a gap in the wires and the electricity can't get around to the wiper, Bird said. When you press the switch on, the wires join up and the electricity can cross the gap and move the wiper. Swish, swish. Does everything in the tractor need electricity to work, Oscar asked. Some things need electricity, Bird said, like the lights, the radiator, the and the wiper. The engine needs electricity to start, too, but it needs gas to make the tractor move. Oscar looked up. Does electricity flow through those wires as well, he asked Bird. Yes, Bird answered. Does the electricity come from a battery too, Oscar asked. No, Bird said it comes from a power station. It's going to the town so that the people can light and heat their homes. Why are the wires in the sky, Oscar wanted to know. So that they're out of reach and you'll be safer, Bird said. They carry lots of electricity and it would be very dangerous if it flowed through you. You should never touch a wire, Oscar. Just then, in the distance, they could see flashes of lightning. Lightning is electricity too, Bird said. There's a kind of electricity all around us, but most of the time we don't see or notice it. Over on the hill, the blades on the wind turbines were turning in the wind. Is electricity helping them move, Oscar asked Bird. No, Bird said, it's the other way around. The wind turns the blades and the movement makes electricity. Then it started to rain. Oscar and Bird rushed back to the tra tractor. Swish, swish. The wiper is wiping the water away so that we can see out, Bird said. Then let's not turn it off yet, Oscar said. In the fields, Oscar found out what electricity is for, how electricity works, and what electricity is made from. Oscar thinks electricity is great. Do you think so too? That was Oscar and the Bird, a book about electricity. I hope you learned a lot about electricity today.